Hello. This is Maria Drushkova, and uh, we are talking about mathematical problem solving for the online course. Please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Rachel Chapel. Rachel, so uh, let me ask the question I care about right away. Okay. When it comes to mathematics and kids, your kids, what are your dreams? Um, I guess I just hope that they learn how to apply math in everyday life and learn how to think mathematically all the time and get excited about it and, I don't know, pretty vague, I guess. Um, so, let's, uh, let's dig deeper. You okay. said three things that I hear. Get excited. Apply mathematics to, to everyday life. And see it all the time. <laughs> okay. <Yeah>. So, <laughs> what does it mean, seeing math all the time? Um, just seeing patterns in the world, learning how to, yeah, just see math and, and learn how to problem solve in a mathematical way and use math in every, in everything. It helps problem solving logic skills and those kind of things. So. Okay. Okay. And how about the excitement? How about it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I want we know it when we see it, right? Right. Well, I want them to not just see math as something that you, you know, fill out workbooks or, you know, computation. I want them to see math as something that is exciting and that, you know, that can be exciting, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Does it happen? Do they get excited about math? Um, they're not very excited about workbooks. But <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> wow! No! You don't... <laughs> Okay. Trying to do more mathematical activities, and they just love that. It's their favorite part of their day. So, activities. Yeah, I've just now I'm just running out of ideas. I need good ideas. <laughs> okay, what have you been doing that was so cool? Best part of the day. Let's see. Um, well, we've gotten into math games and exploring different games that use math principles. We've done graphing where they, you know, shoot baskets and they figure out how, you know, which way to shoot is better and they graph it on a, you know, rolling dice and graphing the probabilities of dice. We've done um, geocaching where we got the map and did the, <laughs> the grid things. Where did you do geocaching? Did you go to a forest or a park? Yeah, just nearby our house. But I made them get out the map and do the latitude and longitude. And <laughs> wow. <laughs> was it fun? It was great fun. We loved it. I just wish I knew more, I guess. I'm not, maybe I'm not very mathematically minded, but I'm trying to be. So. Okay. So you are trying to find these activities that, that are like this. Like, okay. like, like that fun and apply it to something like the map or the dice and make sense. Mm -hmm. And where, where did you get those ideas? It's a great ideas. I just started looking online and um, like I got books at the library, math game books that just kind of gave me different ideas. We homeschool and so, you know, I went to several different conferences and they would give ideas and just getting ideas from other people mostly right now. <laughs> So online people in the conferences. Yeah. So for you, I, I guess this course is one such source of ideas. Right. To do. Yep. <laughs> okay. Um, well, we are in the experimental stage because the, the ideas we have, I mean, we tested them, we tried them, but we need still need people to develop them. Uh -huh. right? Yeah. So does it make sense for you to take kind of a raw idea and give it more development? Oh yeah, I would love to go through that process with my kids too and just just to experience the we don't know the end result type of thing and we're just going to see how it works out and just okay. experimental is good, we like that. Okay, uh, what, do, uh, what do the kids like to do in, in, the, in these projects? What appeals to them when they do that sort of math? Uh, the creative nature of it, they they like to feel like they have a role in what's going on, so somebody telling them that they have to come up with ideas 
just using their brain in different ways, you know, being a part of it. So they want to develop the ideas, they want to figure out how, how to go about things. Yeah. Okay. This is a great attitude for problem solving in particular. So you can invite them to make as many ideas as they want for this project. Great. We want <laughs> to be very open. Well, so um, I, I, uh, we sent out the first three problems already today. So they in the email that we sent today. And um, you, sh you should have them. So what the plan is, this week we will plan. So you'll kind of figure out how you'll go about offering this to the students. Okay. To, well, in your case, to your kids. Do you plan on inviting any friends to participate? Um, no, no. I, but I am hoping to develop some. We have a homeschool group that meets once a week in this fall. And so I'm, I'm in charge of developing the six to eight year old curriculum. So I'm going to hopefully incorporate some of that. Okay. So, okay. So you are trying it with your kids now and yeah. you want to, to plan for, for the fall too. Yeah. So maybe that can be the quest for you and the kids. Do these problems and then make up activities for the fall. Kind okay. of dream some more. Okay. So the idea can be for the kids, even invite them to, to make it up so they develop this idea. So w when we have friends to do it with, uh -huh. right? Yeah. What can we do? How can we change this? How can we play around with this? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Good, yeah. Help. Okay, so they can help. Yeah. Do they help when you plan activities together? Yeah. Okay. Oh, they love, it's the best part is helping, helping plan. <laughs> they want to, to, to be useful. They yeah. want to, to, to design things. That's great. Maybe they can work for me as curriculum designers. <laughs> hey. I always need good ones, right? <laughs> okay, let them know to send the resumes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so um, uh, anyway, um, w uh, so it looks like you you have a good idea where to start with this kind of activities. I think so. Mm -hmm. we, we have a foundation, so we'll start. Okay, <laughs> you already have some things that work. Okay, okay, great. So uh, the dreams are there, and you can do it. I can't wait to see what happens. <laughs> It'll be fun. Um, so now that uh, we're uh, done with my question and we're here speaking, would you like to ask anything before we start the course? Um, no, no, we're pretty flexible. We'll just do what you tell us. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, I would like for you to share ideas or questions on this forum that we have. Okay. So. Um, do you know what I'm talking about? Yep. Okay, that's where the questions are. So, uh, if you want to ask a question of everybody, that's where it goes. And we have a nice group of people, so yeah. it should be fun. Um, if you want to ask just me a question, you have my Skype and my email. Okay. So, so you can uh, always, uh, always do that. Okay, uh, so uh, anything else you'd like to add? No, nope, that's it. <laughs> you are good for the adventure? Yes, right. Okay, yeah. excellent. Okay, I'll uh, talk to you soon. I'll stop the recording.